Hey everyone, how are you? I hope you guys are doing great. I have been away for some time, now I'm back and it is so good to be back. I just wanted to share with you guys that the my new this is my new MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch, the high end one, the latest one, the late edition 2013 and let's check it out first. There you go. See, processor is 2.3 GHz Intel Core i7, 16 GB RAM, NVIDIA GeForce GT 750, 2 GB RAM, and so awesome. The graphics is display is amazing. So, um, actually, my father gave me the money to buy this, and I bought it on last Sunday. All right. So, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, four things basically that. If you ever wanted to have your name appear in here so to do that let's j jump into system preferences and then users and groups and then click on this login option unlock it and then click on this option show first user switching menu as and then if you prefer icon then it's going to be an icon and then the account name and then full name whatever you whatever you prefer for my case I'm going to put my account name in there okay all right that's that let's lock it there okay that's the first thing and the second thing is that I want to have my um, hard disk icons appears on the desktop right so how do I do it so if you're on your desktop click on finder then preferences and then click on this option and there we go there we have your hard disk icons right and if you're connected with other devices just click external hard disks and CD rooms and other things that will also appear on your desktop and that's the second thing and third thing, third thing is that um, I want to show show you that how to get all these kind of cool, beautiful, high end, high resolution back wallpaper for the Retina display. It is normally hidden in somewhere. So to get it, press Shift Command and G. All right, then this window will pop up. All right this go to folder thing and there will be the address will be like this forward slash library then forward slash screen servers then forward slash default collections and then press go and there you go there is the actual folder where all the uh, awesome wallpapers are located all right you will get four um, folders in there national geographic aerial cosmos and nature pattern patterns all right and how you're going to get it from your normal way of setting wallpaper right so this the, the fifth one is I just put it there for my own stuff I mean the collection I got these from the internet anyways it's awesome awesome thing anyways um, so so now you know how to get these hidden wallpapers and to get it from the system preferences go to system preferences and then desktop and screen server and when you are in this section just click on this plus icon and then press don't worry about this right now just shift command G and write this address and then go and it will take you to the exact location and when you are in this location where your files are that file you want to put as a wallpaper just select select and then choose all right and then it is going to appear on the wallpaper and screen server is screen server section in there like so I have already added it right so that's how you get the 
uh, these beautiful wallpapers. All right, that's the third thing, and the last and the last thing I wanted to share with you is that the um, on Safari, yeah. If you ever wanted to see the code behind this kind of page or whatever page it is, you know, the image slider thing or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to put this on the internet very soon. All right, you'll be having the dots fully functional and the navigation and the um, captions and links as, as well there. So, um, just to show you, and in your, in the Safari, click on Safari, Preferences, and then click on this option, Show Develop Menu in Menu Bar. Right now, there is no Develop Menu in there. Once you click, then you're going to have this Develop Menu there. You can go see the page source from there. So, now that we have checked it, it is enabled now now you can see the source behind this page so you can do it from here page source or you can right click show page source or option command and u all right on your keyboard and then you get this source view option what's behind the page right so once again this is the slide that I'm going to upload it soon, and the fully functional one. Functional one. I'm just going to create a, a only simple page for you. There will be all the uh, image slider thing in there for you guys, so that you can get get it from there, learn it from here. You can benefit from this page, things like that. And yeah, it's really cool. I want to make things easy for you guys. So, yep, yeah. and. That's the last thing I wanted to share with you guys in this video and I hope you enjoy it, like it, uh, maybe you learn something from it and uh, yeah, enjoy your moments and see you in the next video. Take care, bye.